I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Hey everyone, Keith here, Dusty Roads Barbecue. Today we're making some baby back ribs in the pellet grill. Normally these take six to six and a half hours to make using the classic three, two, one method. I'm in a little bit of a hurry today, so we're gonna try to make them in about four and a half to five hours. Check this out. Let's just start this process off by removing these three slabs of baby back ribs from the cryovac package and then taking a paper towel and making sure both sides are dried off nicely. And now comes the fun part, removing that back membrane. If you've never done this before, it's super easy. You just grab a butter knife and start pulling the membrane away from the rib bone, get your fingers underneath there, pull it up just a little bit, and then here's the trick. Grab some paper towel to help you out, because this stuff is slippery. Hold the ribs down, and then just pull that membrane off, it'll come off in one piece, no problem. Now it comes time for the slather and the rub. You can use mustard, or in this case, I'm using avocado oil. Either one works. Just be sure to slather both sides as well as all the edges. And then apply your rub liberally on all sides. For these ribs, I've got three racks, so I'm using three different rubs. One is Louisiana Grill's Sweet Heat, one is Louisiana Grill's Maple Walnut, and the third is Prairie Smoke and Spice Sweet and Tangy. And now we're going to fire up that pellet grill at 250 degrees. Normally for a 3 2, one rib I'd go to 225, but again, I'm trying to cut some time out here. We're going to let these bathe in the smoke at 250 degrees for the next three hours. Okay, these ribs have been smoking for a couple of hours, let's check on them. Looking good, bark's developing. Make sure we give them a little bit of a spritz with apple cider vinegar and water, just to make sure they don't dry out. After three hours in the grill, we're now going to place these ribs meat side down on some butter and brown sugar, and then apply some more of that spritz to the back side. And then we're going to wrap them up in the tin foil and place them back in the smoker, but now we're going to increase the heat to 275 degrees and place the ribs meat side down on the grill. And after an hour and a half, the ribs were done. They already hit 200 degrees, so we just applied some sauce and let them finish on the grill for a couple more minutes. And now, it's time to slice and serve. And there you go, a simple 3 to one rib, but done in 3, 1.5, and then a few more minutes. So four and a half to five hours, and you're done. In the end, the ribs turned out fantastic. Everyone loved them, the flavor was amazing, tenderness was just about fall off the bone. Now I know, fall off the bone ribs means they're overcooked, but when your family prefers that, that's the way you make them.